Today we're going to look at this Kinmore 117.841 that's made in Germany. Sears had uh, several brands and it was once told to me that Sears really never made anything. They had people make things for them that they would sell in their catalogs and stores and over the years they had several different manufacturers make sewing machines under the Kenmore badge. I'll link a website in the description where I learned that this machine is made by White. Not exactly. Where this machine was purchased from White Sewing Machine, but because White Sewing Machine couldn't meet the specifications, White contracted out with the German manufacturer. German manufacturing this is a high quality machine. To, to my eye, this one's probably better than most of the Japanese that I have had experience with from this era. The stitch length adjustment and reverse. The farther down it moves, the longer the stitch is. Here's the needle position switch. And you can see the needle, when I move it to the left, it, it moves over to the left, center, and right. This is probably most often used when making buttonholes. So this is the lock feature. And what it's locking is the stitch width. Stitch width lock. So it goes from zero, one, two, three, four, and then it goes to buttonhole. So if, you're, if your knob won't adjust all the way, don't force it. Be sure and check your lock. So if you want to alternate between straight and zigzag at say a one width, you can set this at one. So when this is on zero it sews a straight stitch and then you can go up to one there's a stop there and back to straight back to one you can repeat that setting you can set it on three and now it's anywhere from zero to three zero three it's repeatable in the buttonhole position there is a detent which helps locate the stitch width at two and then it allows you to go on up to four which is full width so the idea is you can do the bar tack at the end of each buttonhole at full width then you can do each side at two in conjunction with that you will use the left to do one side of the buttonhole and the right to do the other on top of the machine we have the pattern selector it has an arrow on it indicating that it should only be turned in one direction. So here we can see a one is showing and that is pattern cam number one. Then there is a zigzag cam inside the machine. Straight stitch. Pattern disc number two. And this wavy stitch which is similar to a three-step zigzag but slightly different. Now in here these black discs are the pattern cams. You might be able to see as I rotate the disc these different followers will take turns engaging in the four different cams. So for instance, right now, this follower is engaged with cam number two. Now this follower is engaged in the wavy pattern. You can see the parts on this machine are marked original GK.
some machines tension control is kind of chintzy almost like an afterthought this is manufactured real well and it has a, a wide range of adjustment within it I like this tension control knob whenever you lift the foot on this machine it releases the tension so that your work pulls out very easily when you're removing your work make sure your machine is in the right position I've got a tip video a link right here so you can check it out this switch disengages the feed dogs so when we put it on two it drops the feed dogs and you can accomplish things like embroidery and whatnot with this machine because the feed dogs won't move the material you'll need to do it and then there is a momentary position three it's got a real nice light on the back metal light housing and a good clicky switch it's beefy has a nice door to access the moving components of the uh, business end that makes lubricating and cleaning very easy it's got a nice got a nice detent there no tools it's easy it's good I think one of the best parts about this machine is this motor of all the antique home sewing machines I've been through with the exception of the Singer 201 this is uh, probably the best motor I've had a chance to uh, get my hands on so I've had this motor apart it's built very well interesting new motors uh, I don't think will have these uh, drill spots where they drill out some material to balance the motor so this old motor is balanced this old one has a fan to keep itself cool uh, this motors to me seems as good as the day it was made I like that it has oiling ports on the bushings you sure don't want to over oil them you'll get oil inside the motor which you don't want but one drop of oil there and one drop of oil there and those bushings will be lubricated for a good long time the casting is heavy even has a nice tag for the specifications of this motor when this motor runs it just sounds better. This is a real nice bobbin winder. One thing I like a lot about it, the rubber tire meets the rubber belt. So it has very good traction. This is superior. I'll start with a zigzag. Now I'll move the pattern selector to number one. The patterns are listed in the manual. Now I'll do pattern disc number two. Now the wavy stitch. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel.